Hey everyone, Azao's Mac here today, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on an application I mentioned in my top five Mac apps for the beginning of 2012, and that was 1Password. So here it is, I have it open right here. And uh, after you get things set up with your master password, and you open it up, it's going to look a little something like this. Okay, so on a first glance, on your left hand side, I'm going to go full screen because 1Password has that feature which is uh, obviously built in with Lion. If you don't have Lion, it won't matter. On the side, you're going to have a column of different things. You're going to have logins, accounts, identities, secure notes, software, wallet. Um, the first thing that I came over here was what is software when you click on that that is a uh, license key which I personally don't use but if you are OCD and you want to keep everything really organized and you downloaded pages and you have to have the license key saved just in case it blows up I, I don't know if you do this is for you alright obviously the most common one is going to be logins. So I'm here and I have all my logins saved in here. I have my eBay, my Facebook, my Google, my Verizon, my PayPal, my TrendNet. Um, well, the TrendNet is my wireless router. I have the password saved and admin, that, that stuff. Uh, Wells Fargo, Amazon. I have literally everything I ever need to get on saved every single password so I never have to type it in and you say well that's cool you can go copy and paste but no the greatest thing about this is you don't have to copy and paste so here I'm on my Facebook it comes with this extension built in to the program I click on that extension it brings down this menu which is one password and it recognizes okay I'm on Facebook it recognizes facebook.com as the login I press enter and it go ahead and signs me into my Facebook. That's amazing. Say I go over here um, and I want to go to something else. I want to go to my my uh, YouTube account. I can go ahead and go down to uh, YouTube. And it's going to go ahead and go over there and log me into my other YouTube account. So you don't even have to be on a web page, and as you see, that opened a new tab, which is very useful. Another feature is that, say you're on a new website and you save a new password, it's gonna a little menu bar will come up here, just like in Firefox, it'll say, "Do you want to remember this in your toolbar or, or whatever?" And you can say, "Yes, save to one password." I don't have any websites right now that I can save, so I can't do that demonstration, but. A little bar comes up here saying, do you want to save this? And you can say, uh, yes, always, uh, yes, once, or never for this site. I mean, it gives you that option. Uh, let me make sure I hit everything here. Identities, I have really no idea. Uh, keep names and addresses. Okay, so you can save contacts. Um, accounts, my iTunes, instant messengers, email accounts. I... Uh, I save most of my stuff in my logins just because that's uh, usually where they auto save to. I also have the wireless router set in here and my iTunes account. Uh, if you click on uh, folders, that's going to show you all your things, which is nice. Um, they also keep them in alphabetical order, starting with numbers, obviously. Another great feature is the generating passwords um, it gives you the option right here to generate a password but uh, one of the coolest things is if I go right over here and press edit here's my uh, Craigslist I can go ahead and click generate and it's gonna bring out this menu and it's gonna have 
I can pick the strength. So right now I'm at 13. Let me go. Oh, look at that. 50. And you're like, well, how am I supposed to? You don't have to remember. You don't have to remember the password because it's going to remember it for you. Um, I just think that's amazing. And it's a fantastic password. As you can see, there's lowercase and uppercase letters. No one is ever going to. I mean, how are you going to guess something like that? You can't. Um, so I I do this to a, quite a few of my passwords. And uh, am I worried that it's ever going to crash? Uh, not really. But just in case it did, I saved my my Google, which I use for all my emails, which I, I, I use for almost everything. I saved that password in my Yahoo, and I know my Yahoo password. So if anything were to ever happen, I could get back to that email and recover any data that I lost from this and get my e emails back and my uh, Facebook and anything I needed. So guys, if you have any more questions about 1Password, go ahead and leave me a message. If you know another program like this that you think is twice as good, please tell me because this is one of the most useful apps I know of. So just uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you like the app. If you don't like the app, still comment, rate, subscribe. Leave me a comment what you think about it. If you don't like it, if you love it, um, it's amazing. I recommend downloading it. I think it's $50 now. It used to be cheaper, but it's got a lot of hype. So once again, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.